Hi y'all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibe for, oh, what is it? Thursday, May 31st, the last day of May. May 31st. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates for you. This may not resonate as all, at all because I'm only reading probably for the people that watch me the most. Okay, Typically that's the case. Or sometimes newcomers are drawn to my reading for a reason. Okay, So this is the Daily Energy for Thursday, May 31st. Look at that, the Empress. Uh, this is about rebirth, renewal. This could be, you know, this this is also the Earth Mother, okay? This is represented by Taurus and Libra. It's ruled by Venus, uh, which is the goddess of love, okay? So she is very beautiful inside and on the outside. So this is also... A rebirth of some sort. Oh, the Two of Cups reversed. Somebody may not may have evolved. They're not the same person that they were. They once were. Yeah, somebody is wide awake. They've woken up. They've woken up. I I, I see the truth. It's like you guys are answering the call to this rebirth that's being shown to you. That's being given to you. Many of you are. Uh, there could be a breakup on the horizon. There could be. The Two of Cups in reverse is a breakup. There's been arguments. There's been conflict. There's been incompatibility within a relationship. And somebody may be giving up. They, I don't, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be in this unharmonious relationship anymore. I, I don't want this offer. I don't accept it. I'm not, I'm not interested in it anymore because I know what I'm worth, and I'm worth more than that. Somebody has found the confidence and the courage to accept the truth. Because in many decks, the judgment card is labeled truth. And this is courage and confidence. Somebody has found the courage and the confidence to, and the strength to accept the truth. That this is not compatible. I love myself en enough. I do. This person has a lot of self-love. To stay in a situation that lacks harmony. that there, There's a lot of bickering and, and conflicts. There's a separation. Somebody is separating here. They are. Somebody is separating. Oh, Taurus. You're, there's a Taurus here. These both represent Taurus, okay? So we have Taurus, we also have Libra, and we have Virgo and Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Somebody's decided, I just want to be happy, I don't want to prove myself to you anymore. You know, let's be practical here, let's be practical. Somebody is has decided to be very practical here. And this could be any sign, somebody is taking on these energies, okay? They, the Queen of Pentacles is very disciplined, she's very fertile, okay? There's a lot of growth here. Like I said, somebody's evolved. I'm not the same person. This is, there's, there's no growth here in this relationship, but I've grown. So it feels as though somebody is doing the responsible thing by severing ties in a relationship. I don't wanna prove myself, I just wanna be happy. I don't wanna fight, I don't want these conflicts. It's time for a new beginning. A rebirth. Twice now, you, many of you are have are being like reborn again. With 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 death, you know, becomes a new beginning. Somebody is becoming or, or is being reborn again. We have a new beginning here, an end. There's an end of a of a partnership, whether it's in love or at work or whatever, or friendship, whatever. There's an end of a partnership for good. 
I want to be happy. I have to do what's right for me. I ha we have to be practical and responsible. It's time to be happy. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't need this bickering. I don't need this arguing. And I feel confident that this is the truth, that I'm, that I'm making the right call here. I'm making the right call. And it feels like somebody has taken the time to really step back and focus they've to, to figure this out to become aware okay somebody has taken the time out that they needed with the hermit card down there on the end to become self-aware of what the next steps need to be okay somebody has really reflected on the truth that's what's happened here and they've you know there's been a period of mental conflict but this mental conflict has brought you growth there is absolutely no, no doubt somebody has decided to step outside of their comfort zone and to face the this truth okay they found the strength to accept the reality of this situation so i feel as though there's a new beginning here somebody is ending a situation in which there is there's no compatibility so i do apologize that this is what this day is about but it feels as though there's been some mental turmoil which has forced someone to go within to figure out what was going on here what the truth was to wake up and they took the opportunity and now they are awake and they are strong enough to take action because i I'm ready for my transformation. I'm ready for my new beginning. Somebody has transformed. They're not, this isn't working. Somebody is letting go of a partnership because it's the most practical, responsible thing to do. And it's like I have become a new person and I'm ready to go down this brand new path. And follow my truth I'm answering this call yeah I feel like there's a there's a a new beginning on the horizon after a separation so somebody is separating if you've already separated and you have found that self-love if you're abundant and you're you're prosperous and you can get by with very little because you know who you are then you are probably already well on your way to being reborn again, okay? Rebirth. That's what's going on here. Somebody has gone through a rebirth. They're not the same person. They have transformed. They're no longer invested in this relationship, and they've come to the, they found their strength to let it end. So that's what I have. Somebody is, is strong enough to face this conflict head on. For some of you, there's a new beginning because you already did this. Some of you are, are, are have already been gone through this rebirth and you do have a new beginning. The death card is an ending that brings a new beginning. But you need to make sure that you have stepped back to focus to wake up. Seems like there's two cards here. Guess not. Should have seem like there is. Anyway, listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said. To be to but to what lies beneath the words to read between the lines listen to read, read between the lines whatever that means for the day be prepared maybe maybe somebody says something that gives you the courage maybe it's the last straw you know this is the last straw I'm done that could be the case maybe you need to listen because your new beginning is right in front of you and you need to listen because it will give you that nudge in that direction. Either way, keep your ears wide open today. Thursday, May 31st. 
somebody is taking the practical, responsible approach to leave a incompatible situation. And they're starting on a new journey. So yeah, that's what I have. Talk to you later.